Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the new MX16 Linux final release. Now today the uh, final version was released. I did a review on, a, on the uh, release candidate a few weeks ago and a very positive review. Uh, so today I thought I'd take a look at the final product. Now <clears throat> if you saw the prior review you'll know how highly I think of MX16 and uh, they really really set the bar extremely high for uh, for Debian Linux distributions now one of the things that I asked about um, last time was a uh, dedicated installer for uh, proprietary graphics like NVIDIA ATI and sure enough uh, they have um, hit the mark I have tested it and it works flawlessly. Uh, but that's really the tip of the iceberg when it comes to MX16 Linux because they provide so many proprietary uh, utilities in their distribution that it makes it so easy to install, uh, configure, and maintain your Debian distribution. And as you know, that's not always the case with Debian distributions. So right now, MX16 uh, is right at the top of the list uh, as far as uh, M uh, of Linux Debian distributions. And this includes ease of use, configuration, daily maintenance, uh, availability of software, proprietary utilities. They have all of the bases covered. And just take a, we'll just take a look at some of the proprietary utilities that they do have. If I go into the Whisker menu and I do a search for MX, you can see everything that comes up. App Notifier, Boot Repair, Broadcom Manager. Now, I didn't need, even need to use Broadcom Manager. My Broadcom Wi-Fi was configured right out of the box. So you, you can see MX Check, Apt, GPG for, uh, for keys, MX Clocky, Desktop Clock, Codex Installer, that's one of the things that if you're doing any gaming, uh, you'll want to install all of the various codecs for your particular graphics situation because that's really the only way you can get some of these um, Linux gaming uh, systems to work. For example, if you want Battle.net, if you want Hearthstone, if you want Diablo, you need all of the codecs for your particular graphics card. And MX16 just makes it so easy. You, uh, backports installer for Debian, Debian Backports repository. MX default look. You can change the theming very easily. You can switch the panel to the bottom versus the left. They make it so easy to configure it just the way that you want it. You can find your network shares. You can install Flash. Uh, there's an editor for the menu. Now for package installing, uh, it makes it so easy to go ahead and install various packages that you might want to uh, install on your particular system. And they're all broken down by category. So if, for example, you want a different browser, the default browser is Firefox. But if you want a, 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 you know, an additional uh, browser, you can get Chromium, Google Chrome, Pale Moon, Cupzilla, the list is endless and they make it very easy. All you have to do is click on what you want and click on install. Extremely, extremely easy. And the, the software list is extremely comprehensive. So if we go back to the utilities, uh, after package installer, you've got, as I mentioned, the panel orientation. You can move it to the bottom. You've got live persistence and remastering tools. Repo manager, you can select your default sound card. You can create a snapshot of your system. So if you, uh, once you get it tweaked and set up the way you want it, you can create a snapshot of that system and create an ISO so that if anything happens down the line, you can reinstall your MX-16 exactly the way you configured it. Switch user, system sounds, repo installer, MX Tools. Now, MX Tools is a full-featured 
utility menu that has just about everything you could ask for. AMD ATI, graphics and video graphics, Broadcom, everything is uh, laid out nicely in this graphical menu. And let's go back to MX. And there is the MX Tools, USB Unmounter, MX User Manager. There's the welcome screen, which I have in the center of the screen right now. Audio Mixer, ATI, Graphics and Video. Everything is here. Everything you could possibly want to do, you're able to do. And they make it much easier than having to use the command line for everything. So, without, uh, without going into uh, all of the levels of detail, um, suffice it to say that MX-16, in my opinion, is the best Debian distribution available. Now, if you install MX-16, you'll find that you'll be able to configure it and get it set up, operating, and looking just the way that you want it tremendous tremendous distribution can't speak high, more highly about it um, it's it, they've they've really set the bar extremely high for Debian distributions so guys that is it for today uh, for this video this is the MX 16 final release metamorphosis it's available for download you can download it directly through DistroWatch or from the MX 16 uh, website they do have a uh, incredibly active community uh, where if you have any questions or any issues you can get answers fairly quickly so guys thank you for very much for stopping by the channel please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon take care